Your Olin did a mid, did a different sound than it before. Uh oh. Oli, oli, oli. Day two of the PCA main event. Blind 600, 1200 with a 100 ante. Now's when the real poker starts. Marcus Ross, King 10 offsuit under the gun. And that's a raise to 2,700. Pocket kings for Bryn Kenny. Here you go. I'm going ham. No re raise from Bryn, just a call. Oh, that's slick. Alex Klamashin has ace jack in the hijack. We got a real car crash developing here. Again, no re raise, just a call. Rounds the blinds. Vlad Troinovsky in the small. Daniel Negreanu in the big. He's calling. I'm. Wow! Right down the date and time, people. Daniel Negreanu just folded a hand. To be fair, we didn't see the cards, so there might not have been anything printed on them. The flop. Ace, 7-7. Seven, seven. Clamashin takes the lead. Stupid flop for kings. No continuation bet from Ross. Kenny checks. No reason to play a huge pot with an overcard out there. Clamashin checks behind. Turn for free. Ten of spades. What do you think now, Ross? You like your pair? Because it's no good. A delayed C bet coming. 5,600 into two opponents, both of whom have him beaten. That's right, Bryn still has Clamashin to worry about behind him. Kenny calls. Don't see Clamashin folding top hair. He calls as well. Still three-way as we go to the river. Bryn knows he's boned. Nine of diamonds. This is a straighty, flushy, paired board. Pretty much the worst board ever for Kings once you toss that ace in there. Action's been checked to Bryn. I think Bryn's only hope is that he can check and maybe pick off a bluff. All in. Wow, he shoves! Okie doke. I guess he's turning his hand into a bluff. Hey, sometimes you gotta do that if you think you can get your opponent to fold a better one. Clamashin folds the best hand. Well done, Bryn. And Ross folds as well. You know, here's an advanced bluff right there. I wasn't even watching, but good job. Whatever you did, I don't know. Just went all in, random. That's a good value. Nobody can fold ace. Of course. You no. fold the ace. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, of course. Ace jack. Wow, he nailed it. Back on the scene after a short break, and he's got kings. Oh, hell yeah. That's a raise to 125k. Kurganov has King Queen. Uh oh, and he just got those chips too. He must be delirious. He re raises. It's a three bet to 335,000. to Mustafa Kanit in the small blind. Who's got queens? This is the worst thing to happen to a Mustafa since Dr. Evil's malfunctioning trap door. No way he folds. How much more is he gonna lose? It doesn't look like he's counting out a call. It's a cold four bet to 835,000. With Chidwick folding, the action's back on Shemian. He's not folding, and I don't think he's expecting Mustafa to fold either. Hey, I'm glad we're playing with the Kings and Queens only deck. I'm all in. Shemian shoves. Easy fold for Igor. How much is that? A little over two. Mustafa's getting almost three to one. 
Surprised he hasn't called it off already. Two million fifty five. Can it giving this careful consideration? Does all this shimmy make anybody else wonder when season four of Vikings is coming back? I think this is just one of those think think side calls. Not on this occasion, he folds. Wow. Show us one card. Not an ace. Huh? No ace to show. Can it laid it down? I hope he didn't overplay <laughs> any hand. I was not folding against you. Huh? That was my I know. Problem. Against you, I'm happy to play my money huh? in this spot. Oh, yeah, it's fine. I was for value. It's queen. Queens. Yes. My value is different than your value. Yeah, it's not ace queen because you call ace queen okay. against him. <clears throat> I don't know. I hope he didn't overplay the his king, but I don't think so. How did he fold queens there? So we're going heads up to the flop. And that flop is Jack 8 8 trips for Micker, a full house for Ms. Rocky. OMG, grossest flop ever. I haven't seen a deck this cold since EPT Hoth. Micker checks, Ms. Rocky checks behind. Who's trapping who here? Who's gonna slow play it the hardest? Mika now bets the turn, 25,500. He loses the game of reverse chicken. Grinder might be thinking about a raise, and this is where him barreling with complete nonsense a lot of the time is gonna get him paid like he's passing go. That is a raise. 55,500 total. Really bad spot for Mika. 55. Oh, just 55? Okay, I guess. 51 total. No, no, 55, five, right? Mika's little confusion game might sometimes work. Unfortunately, Grinder so doesn't care. Mika likely thinks Grinder's trying to rep his hand. So Mika calls 157,000 in the middle. The river, the deuce of spades, does complete a potential flush. Mika checks. UNLV, University of Nevada, looking for value, and Grinder's going to be this year's valedictorian. 160. He overbets the pot 160,000. What's Channing Tatum over there going to do now? I think Magic Mecca called the turn pretty sure he was trapping, maybe sensing there's a chance he's behind. This is not a good river card, and Griner just bombed it, so this is a real decision. That's 160. I think most players are going to unhappily call here. We've seen Griner just fire and fire and fire with air or near air. And Mika knows it. So in the long run, you can't fold hands as strong against Grinder. In the short run, it's possible he makes some kind of soul read. Wants to see how much he'll be left with if he makes this call, and the answer is not much. The problem is we know that Grinder is so capable of making this bluff. That was so sick. Agreed. Sicker than I was after the open bar at the kickoff party. It would be absolutely amazing if he can get away from this, but I think more often than not, he's going to have to white-knuckle it and just call. I can't believe I'm pulling this. He lays it down! Wow, I can't believe it either. Somebody just unlocked the tight laydown badge on Poker Square. Whether you had it or didn't You'll never believe what I folded there. I had three, four clubs. Burn. I had the winning hand then. Jack's rule. I don't <laughs> That's both pretty, are completely pretty, pretty sick flop if you really had that. I swear Jack's full. Witness. He said, I'll bet you I said he's like I had Jack's full. So either he's just completely lying or Or you just made one of the most insane folds ever. So ridiculous. That fold was so insane it belongs in Arkham Asylum. Oh wow. Against Polychronopolis. So it starts with a raise from Polychronopolis pre flop. Called by Wynn on the button. Yes, 
So king, queen, nine, two spade flop. Action goes check, check. Turn card. It's the queen of hearts pairing the board. And after Holochronopolis checked, win bet. There's a call and the river card is the ace of spades. Straighty, flushy, paired board, check. Bet. All in. All in. All in. Couple stacks of blue there. He's got her covered. Clearly a big decision. I like, the, him. I like the intense camera angles, the zooming in, changing. Dramatic zoom. And she folds. Ace queen. A full house. Whoa. And Polychronopolis shows aces. What? He had a better full house. What inspired folds? Are you serious? What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. That is spooky. That is crazy good. Igor Kurganov, King Jack off. I suspect he's going to open. He does, with a raise to 4,000. Oh my god, who is that? That is Slade Fisher. He's folded. Let's have Gabriela Trento and Andrew Chen. Ola Shemian, queen seven off on the button, and that is a re-raise, a three bet to 9,100. Re-raising an early raise against a really good player with junk. Kirkinov calls. There is some history between these two. Igor knocks Shemian out of the 25K in Australia, then went on to win. Ace jack six on the flop. Kirkinov checks. Shemian with absolutely no hand whatsoever, continues for 8,600. And this is almost certainly getting called. Kurganov with a second pair. Only a third of the size of the pot, which is fine in a three-bet pot. He calls. A seven on the turn. Shemian now has third pair. A lot of folks are going to slow down now, but <laughs> no, 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 not Shemian. He's just going to continue bloating this pot like the gluttony seed in seven. He bets 16,100. And once again... Kurganov calls. If Kurganov were ahead on the flop, he'd very likely still be ahead now. Nine of hearts on the river, and Kurganov checks a third time. This is a super wet river card. Is Shemian going to get weird here? Oh, no. He shoves. He overbets the pot. Straights came in. Obviously, the flush. This is a sick bluff, and it's his best shot at getting Kurganov to fold exactly the hand he's got. Sometimes even better. Right now, it's Kurganov's tournament life over second pair. Your limb did a, mid, did a different sound than it did before. Uh-oh. Plus, your hand was shaking. That's making it tougher. I don't know. Normally, it's because you're so happy that you have it. It was a friendly smile to me. Hmm. Ole, ole, ole. I call. Great call. Sick. Both hands have to be shown, guys. You gotta show both hands. It's an all-in situation. Both hands have to be tabled. 